can use that to select just the block and then we'll move it down in the Z direction, minus four inches. And I'm gonna use this one, it's 58 millimeters long with a 48 millimeter measuring length. We can just replace it. So start alignment is kind of like a rough alignment and usually it's just for the purpose of manually finding your part. And I like to rename these by the diameter, so I'll use Control H for find and replace. I'm gonna do some single points with one probe in the Y positive direction and then the other in the Y minus direction. Now we did this composite position in our earlier lesson, but I'm gonna go over and explain it again because it's a little bit less common and sometimes tricky to understand. And sometimes when you create a curve, the vectors are all reversed. So you can just click this button to reverse the vectors. And then I'm gonna group all the features by the appropriate stylus or probe angle. And this three dot button will allow you to customize how the file is saved. You can customize the file path. And if you'd like to put a comment in your program, you can go do that here under resources measurement plan comment and this will also show up in your run window. I do have a collision detection on which is this button and it will show a list of any crashes that happen while the simulation is running. You can take a screenshot of your CAD model or take a photo of your setup and then create a setup document. It could be in Microsoft Word, it could be in Excel, whatever program you need and then put some comments on how that part needs to be set up.